Hello everyone and welcome back and welcome to the latest video of monitoring as code concepts. Now we were going to talk about the importance of CICD during the monitoring as code implementation. Well folks, CICD are essential parts of using monitoring as code because they help ensure that any changes that we made to the monitoring resources are safe, consistent and are fast deliverable. This means that teams can confidently deliver high quality monitoring setups. Let's go through the continuous integration and continuous deployment strategy and see some benefits. When you're talking about the continuous integration on the monitoring as code implementation, we gain main three uh, benefits. We gain much more, but I will only mention those three because I believe they are the most important. The first one is automated testing and validation. Well, using CI pipelines to automate the process of testing and validating code chains. This is essential because we can ensure that chains to the monitoring resources do not introduce any errors or instability. Okay, and it helps get issues early in the development process and save time for our from our engineers. The next one is consistent code standards. Well, every company has its own code standards and as well leverage some code standards provided by the software community. By integrating code frequently and running automated checks, the continuous integration ensure, ensures that the code base remains consistent and deployable state. So we can ensure that we are maintaining the high standards of code quality and also we can save some time from our engineer teams to not reviewing codes code chains that they are not following the code standards okay well the last but not least is reduce development time because we have automated builds and tests running every new code change on your code base and we can ensure that everything is like properly healthy and ready to be promoted to another environment okay so moving forward to the continuous integration continuous deployment actually we gain three main um, benefits the first one is automated deployment like once we have our continuous integration pipeline finished giving us our green light to move forward we can use continuous deployment to deploy the chains to many different environments like development station production we can actually have some kind of progressive deployment like first deployment the chains in development test and validate and if it's work we can promote the this change to staging and to production using an automated process for that this reduces the manual effort required for deployment and minimize the risk of human error which is like amazing okay the next one is consistent across environment like in big scale you have you might have many different environments like many regions if you're running on cloud and so on and the continuous deployment approach ensures that the same deployment process is used for all the environments maintaining consistency and we can leverage the desired state that we are implementing using monitoring as code and using the same process for continuous deployment and ensure that everything is the same since your development up to your production environments and different reasons, regions. The last one is rollback capabilities. Well, automated deployment pipelines often including some mechanisms, some mechanism to rolling back chains. Imagine that you just made a change on your alerting resources and this alert became too noise and start spamming your teams. You may want to easily hold back that change and stop bothering your teams with false positive alerts. Well folks, those are the main goals of integrating CI and CD on your monitoring as code approach. I hope you have enjoyed the monitoring as code concept and now we are ready to talk about the Terraform provider and also the Kubernetes operators. I see you there. Bye-bye.